Here we're going to do a little silver brazing of the uh, tubes for my boiler. This is what I call an element. And uh, I'm going to put on some gloves, or well, excuse me, let me back up. I need to do some fluxing. Uh, I've got the end cap in the end of the three quarter inch tube. It's a little round disc made of copper. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of flux on uh, each of the tubes. Those are three quarter inch uh, tubes going into a three excuse me, three eighths inch tubes going into a three quarter inch tube. A uh, little bit of flux here and there. Um, I flexed the three eighths inch tubes, but we're going to just put a little more on to make sure the edge of the three quarter inch tube uh, have some on it. This takes a little bit of time, but uh, as a friend of mine told me, uh, flux is cheap. And I think he was referring to the price of it compared to silver solder. Okay, so we'll get that taken care of. The end cap will be a little bit uh, interesting because it's kind of loose in there. Uh, it's got a 5 16 inch rod holding it so it can't fall in. Uh, but it can fall out and uh, sometimes does. Just get get it on the top half and uh, it forms a nice fillet. Uh, it just sort of uh, melts and uh, forms a fillet around the 3 8 inch tubes. Here I am poking and dabbing at the end to get it all nicely covered, the end cap. There. Okay, now we can put the gloves on and the, uh, the sunglasses. This isn't a particularly bright uh, uh, torch, so we'll just let it go as it is. The TIG gloves work just fine. You don't have to pick anything up or touch anything. Uh, I do have a pair of pliers there in case the end cap falls out. Okay, here goes the torch. A little more acetylene and a little oxygen. And I have to pick up the silver solder next. And uh, then we'll start heating. I always work from one end to the other. It, uh, you know, since you're heating the copper, it, uh, it, the heat flows into the copper, and you might as well just follow it right on down the tube. Get the end cap real nice and hot. The end cap swells if you heat it first, and so then it'll stay in there. I've had a few fall out, as you can probably imagine. Once it's soldered in there, though, the uh, surface tension of the silver solder tends to hold it right in place until it uh, cools down and hardens right up. I get it to a, uh, a dull red and then it'll start melting the silver solder. Uh, sometimes I get it up to a medium red, but uh, you don't really want to take it up to a full uh, cherry, uh, bright cherry red. As you can see, I've covered my table with fire brick uh, so that the heat doesn't ever get down to the table saw. Then you just keep waving the tip back and forth. I'm keeping it uh, an inch or two above the uh, material so that it doesn't have any one hot spot that uh, uh, melts through a hole through one of the tubes. And, you know, yes, I have melted a hole through a tube, but uh, this will work pretty well. Do be sure to use new flux. Uh, it goes, the instructions say it goes bad after a year, and. I've had some bad flux where I had less than a 50% uh, uh, accuracy on my silver solder joints. Usually you can tell if the silver solder is there, it flows real nice and forms a real nice fillet right around the tube. There, we've heated both sides of each tube, uh, left and right side, I should say. Now we'll turn it over and take and uh, I'm pulling the rod out of the end, the 5 16th rod. We'll turn it over and take a look and see how we've done. There, 
And in this case, they all look very good. Everything flowed right around and hit and down to the bottom. Looks like we got a good uh, fill it all the way around the 3 8 inch tubes. Okay, that's it.